All right, guys. Today is going to be a informal gushing review about catfishing on Catnet, the young adult bo book you probably haven't read, but you really should. Ugh. So, again, per usual, start of my review. Maybe you don't want to know too much. I love this book. Five stars. Go read it. I cannot wait for the sequel. Is that that good? All right. So, the synopsis. You have Steph. I'm pretty sure that's her name. I'm really bad at remembering names, but her name's either Steph or Stephanie. Maybe it's Stacy. I'm pretty sure. It starts with an S. Regardless, she and her mom are constantly moving across the country, running away from her father who's been let out of jail. She has been told her whole life that her father has been, I don't know, a bad person that they need to run away from. And so she is, when we start this book, they're in Wisconsin, and she has to get started into a new school. This is her second school of the year. She doesn't even have transcripts from her previous school. This is her life. So she can only make friends with people on a website called Catnet. Catnet is a great place where the algorithm of this website kind of naturally puts you into what are called clouders with other people. Clouders are a group of cats, which is so cool. I did not know that. And I have owned several cats. We've probably had a clouder of cats at my house. Don't own more than three cats. It's too much. Six cats was too much. That's a tangent. But so another cool thing is Catnet is run by an AI. This AI is, is a very human personality. They like observing the world through its connection in the internet. And it created Catnet and it charged people uploads of cat pictures for them to be on because this AI loves cat pictures and is involved in all the clouders. But nobody knows that an AI is running this. Nobody knows that there is an AI in their clouder. And that's where we start this story. And this story is so good, guys. So good. First of all, it has such good, quick, engaging pacing. This story, you're just gonna go. It's great. It's very suspenseful and thrilling and funny. You have relationships that I personally really got invested in. I was in all of these friendships. All of them. The only relationship I didn't love was between the mother and the daughter. Mainly because, as you read the story, you're trying to parse, is the mother a reliable narrator? What has happened? Why are they always moving this often? Because it's very jarring for Stephanie's life. If, if her name's even Stephanie, I'm just calling her that, and I really hope it's right, and I'm not just, like, editing right now going, Angela, you're ridiculous. And so... I loved all the relationships. I loved the gender inclusivity. So there is a whole part of this book where you have these people, these, these teenagers, exploring how they want to be identified and supporting each other as they do this. That's wonderful. I, 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 I really liked that. My favorite stuff is there's commentary on sexual education in America, specifically, in this case, the Midwest, which I can attest to. Sexual education in the Midwest is absolute garbage. Absolute garbage. <laughs> but what happens in this near future world is a robot teaches sex ed. And if you ask any question, like you could ask it, what does it mean to be homosexual? That's a pretty simple question, right? The answer should be when someone loves someone of the same gender. Like, that's, that's like, pretty much bare bones a definition. But no, the machine goes, that's a question you should ask your parents. Which, like, is not okay on so many levels. But the way the story pushes that. It's like such a subplot, but it's so good and so funny and the shenanigans and the relationships that form, it was just so good. I really enjoyed the dynamics between, so like I said, Stephanie usually only had friends on the clouder, but does make a friend with someone in this new town, and that friendship, that relationship, how it evolves, so well handled, it was so good, and this whole book reminded me of some of my own high school experiences. I feel like sometimes when I read Young Adult, I'm like, this would never happen. This is not, this is not relatable. And these relationships, these friendships, they, they did. And I loved how supportive people were of each other. I, I, 
this isn't a very in-depth review if you can't tell I just really want you to pick this up what else can I say there are kittens there is an actual cat there are also birds I won't tell you how but there are birds do you like birds there are birds here there's a road trip that's a thing that happens a real fun one <laughs> I also just I liked also the conversation of this AI exists is is the AI allowed to exist this freely? Should there be checks on it? If so, what should the checks be? That's a conversation that happens in this book. I don't know. I wasn't expecting to love this story, guys. It's such a sus great, thrilling, suspenseful, wholesome ride. Like, when do you say suspenseful and wholesome in the same sentence? That does not happen. So, if you, like young adult, I don't know why you haven't read Catfishing on Catnet, because it is wonderful, especially for a near-future sci-fi story. And if you don't typically read Young Adult, you should still read it, because I don't typically read Young Adult. I just did my stats video recently. I don't read much Young Adult at all. And it was wonderful. Like, absolutely phenomenal how we go into just... All these characters are so good. It just so good. Like, does it fall into some of the problems where maybe parents should be more present and smart? Sure. But this is still a story for the sake of being a story, and it's an incredibly, incredibly fun story. And that's all I'll say. If you've made it this far, put a cat down as an emoji. Like if you liked it. Subscribe if you want to. And if you can't tell, my hair is just getting bigger, and it's so hot and humid. So I'm gonna go and stop filming now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.